Good morning, everyone. This morning, we are going to elaborate a medical subject, which is very rare. The disease that we are going to talk about or disorder that we are going to talk about is very rare. One baby suffers from this rare disorder out of 58,000. This is genetic, inherited from usually from mother on X chromosome. X chromosome is actually given by mother. It's a mother's contribution to the baby. The title of this subject is Bubble Boy. Bubble Boy, the boy named David Wetter, born in 1971 in Houston, Texas, USA, and it died in 1984, just about 13 years. Why this happened? Because he was suffering from this kind of disease known as SCID, or Severe Combined Immunodeficiency. He was born without the shred of immunity, no immunity at all. And we all can understand that nothing but nothing can survive on this planet without immunity. This is our immunity that can actually prevent us from all kinds of viral infection, parasite, pathogens, bacteria, viruses, and all that. That is why COVID, for example, we do not have sharpened or strengthened immunity against COVID. That is why people are dying. Now, vaccine is available, and these vaccine shots are given to the people in order to strengthen, fortify, make the immunity robust against COVID. That those people who are going to get the jab of in, insulin, I mean, sorry, virus, sorry, vaccine, these people are not going to suffer from COVID, but their immunity would be so strong that it would fight back the COVID and COVID would be eliminated. So immunity is a God-given gift to us. Without that, nobody but nobody but nobody can survive on this planet. This thing was actually found in early 1950 by Dr. Lange. Dr. Lange was the one who found it and what he found that our ADA or our adenosine deficiency, adenosine actually fortify our T cell, make our T cell strong, and our T cell make our immunity strong. So now in in the case like David Vetter, ADA were weakened, they were deficient, and as such. Our T cells were deficient, weakened, and as a consequence, our immunity was also weakened and become poor and could not actually fight back to all kinds of viral infection. Now, I have actually chosen five points to elaborate this, this disorder known as SEID or severe combined immunodeficiency, which, as a matter of fact, gives life to baby born with SCID or this kind of deficiency only a year or two. No baby can live longer than two years. But in the David's case, David Vettel survived for 12 years for two reasons. The first, the bubble that he was living in for 12 years. He lived in a bubble, plastic bubble, for 12 years, and this bubble was not designed by any Rolly, Polly, Tom, Dick, and Harry, but it was designed by, especially by NASA. It cost his parents 50,000 US dollars, or 35, 36 lakh Indian rupees to have this bubble. Second thing that would have given him life, I would say would have given him life was his sister's bone marrow. Bone marrow was infused to David, hopefully that he would last and he would survive 
longer, but unfortunately the bone marrow did not do any any help, did not give any help, did not do anything at all, and David died at the end of 12 years in 1984. So first point is David suffered from congenital SCID. SCID or severe combined immunodeficiency is congenital. Baby is born with that and actually it is contributed by X chromosome or we can say the X chromosome is coming from mom. Mom's chromosome is actually culpable for that. Father has also X chromosome, but usually it is mom's chromosome X is responsible for this SCID deficiency syndrome or the SCID disorder. Number two, David was vulnerable to all kinds of viral infection. We breathe so many viruses, so many bacteria, so many pathogens, so many parasites in every inhale of our breath. But since we have very strong immunity, so these viruses or parasites or pathogens don't do any kind of major harm. And we survive. They are killed by our immune system or our phagocyte, kill them, and we survive without getting sick of that thing. Now, in the, in the case of David, he did not have immunity, so whenever he breathed outside, he would have died a long time ago. That is why they put him in this specially de designed, specially made NASA bubble. This was sterile, totally bacteria-less, devoid of any kind of bacteria or pathogens. It was autoclaved, and he can breathe oxygen, which was absolutely devoid of any kind of virus. Point number three, no life form can survive. So God-given immunity. The biggest favor that God has done to us has given us immunity to survive on this planet. Those people who die early, 50 years old, their immunity can be weaker or they don't take care of their immunity by eating proper amount of food, proper quality of food, exercise, they smoke, they eat all kinds of junk food and every single thing and it destroys their immunity. People who die at 70, weaker immunity. People who died at 80 or 90, very strong immunity. So your span of life, longevity of your life directly is affiliated with your quality of immunity or immune system. And immunity is strong, you can live longer with better health. And if immunity is weaker, you are always sick and person can die early, God forbid. Now, in the David case, David died at the age of 12 because he had 0% immunity, absolutely deficient immune system, no immunity because he had no ADA or adenosine. And as such, T cells were weakened. T cells are getting all kinds of support and strength from adenosine. If adenosines are deficient, then our T cells or our immunity is deficient and we cannot actually fight back to virus, parasites, pathogens, bacteria, and everything that we are inhaling from the from our ambience. All kinds of ambient impurities can penetrate into our system and damage every soft organ and eventually the person can die. Point number four is spending 12 years in a sterile and autoclaved bubble designed by the NASA. David Wetter spent 12 years from 1971 to 1984 in that bubble. He never had a breath from the ambience as we do. We can breathe millions of times a year and nothing happens. Probably 22 million times a year we breathe and nothing happens because our immunity provides us the shield, provides us protection and fend, us, fend our, our, in, uh, our, our inner organs or soft organs from all kinds of damage wrecked by 
pathogens and the parasites and the virus in the open ambience. But David did not have that kind of luxury. That kind of immunity was not given to him by God and as such. He had to defend himself from all kinds of ambient viruses. And that is why he spent 12 years in the bubble to protect himself from the ambient threat of viruses, all kinds of bacteria, pathogen, parasite, which would have killed him at the age of one or maximum two. But he survived 12 years thanks to that bubble designed by NASA in Houston. <clears throat> Point number five, Omen and Nettleton syndrome. This disease, or this disorder, I should say, SCID, is also recognized as Omen and Nettleton syndrome. Omen and Nettleton syndrome also do the same thing. They wreck our immune system. They are are taking over the immune system or destroy our immune system and they make us totally vulnerable to all kinds of viral infections that we breathe the ambient air and inhale all kinds of impurities from our environment in which pathogen, parasites, viruses, every single thing thrive and we can get total damage on our soft organs. We can suffer from all kinds of viruses, all kinds of viral infections, and cannot survive long enough. As in the case of David Vetter, he was suffering from this severe combined immunodeficiency. So the point is that in a nutshell, I should say that we survive 100 years because of our immunity is very strong. And if someone survives only 12 years because either his immunity is very, very, very weak or he has severe combined immune deficiency, like it happens in AIDS, HIV and all that, AIDS is also like that, they acquire immunodeficiency syndrome. So remember, keep your deficiency strong as the Gibraltar rock. Stronger the immunity, longer the life. Strongest immunity, longest life. Poor, poor immunity, shorter life. Poorer immunity, even shorter life. And deficient immunity means shortest life. God bless everyone on this planet. God forbid, no one but no one has to suffer the way David Vetter suffered. And nobody, but nobody should get this kind of disorder known as SCID. Thank you very much for listening. God bless everyone on this planet from all kinds of disease, all kinds of maladies, all kinds of afflictions, and all kinds of disorders. Amen.